Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Hope y'all are all doing well. I've got a busy day ahead of me. Yesterday I spent the whole day, well, not the whole day, but I got to the office about six and left just before two o'clock and decorated the whole office. I will have that video coming later this week. I've got to edit all my little pieces and stuff that I did, but it's done. I'm glad. Um, I may have to go to the Dollar Tree and get a couple of fake little poinsettia blooms for a little jars that I painted. Um, other than that, it's pretty much done. Um, and I am all ready to start pulling everything out and decorate my living room. I'm going to start in the living room this year and then finish off in the kitchen because there's still a few things that I've been collecting, which is reason for this haul. And a lot of this is for my kitchen area. Because I have kitchen and then I have attached, it's all one big room, the eat-in part, and I, I decorate all of it. So, I've got a couple different places that I've been to lately, and um, just wanted to share it with you guys. So, y'all ready to get started? Okay, so Big Lots. I love Big Lots. Love, love, love Big Lots. So, I went to Big Lots to see what they have, because they always have some of the cutest little things. And I found some really adorable things. They had, a, I could go crazy in Big Lots really. So I picked up this cute little plaque. It's a little wood, you know, a little stand and it's $6. But how cute is this? It does have um, a place where I can hang it. How adorable is that? I've got you guys propped up. Hopefully I don't sh shake you up too much. So it's milk and cookies served nightly through Christmas. How adorable is that? Super, super stinking cute. So that will be fun to go with all of my other stuff for my cookie station which is why i got these these are german cookies i'm not even gonna attempt uh, maybe i would love kutcher the kutcher not sure they're little gingerbread self soft assorted gingerbread cookies but how cute are they aren't those adorable i would open them up and look at them but i don't want them to go stale they feel they do feel soft like the film squishing a little bit but i thought this would be Cute to add to my little cookie, hot cocoa, snack treat bar, whatever. <clears throat> That's things I've been collecting for that. And I picked up this candle. It's a frosted uh, cranberry candle. It says $9 on there. It's got a little jingle bell on the top. It's a little wood top, and it does smell really nice. It's got two wicks. Really pretty. But I thought this color with the little flecks of snow would go really well with all the ginger bread stuff, you know, that I've been collecting to put up there. And I thought about maybe altering this a little bit, take this little sign off and maybe putting some dancing gingers on it or something. And then when the candle's all done, I'll have this cute little jar, you know, to put little things in. So I got that. And then of course I had to get something for the little fur babies. And I picked up this. Big Lots has a great selection. This is three fifty of cutest things for the dogs clothes all different types of clothes little christmas outfits and toys and all all kinds of cool stuff so this look that's why i got it it has a little santa ball and then these two little balls so had to get that for the boys <clears throat> and then the last thing i picked up is this adorable little hot cocoa set um it comes with the three little jars and this little wire basket it says what warm warm and cozy and look, it's got little miniature peppermints, individually wrapped, some hot cocoa. And look how tiny those little marshmallows are. I found those a few years ago, the little mini marshmallows, but I've, I haven't found them this year, anybody selling them individually, not in a cute container. Um, <clears throat> a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby, and I think they're back this year, Carly got the three little ceramic bowls with lids that has peppermints, mini marshmallows, and chocolate morsels so that'll go well with this up on our little candy station it's getting bigger and bigger each year <laughs> and I think I usually leave that up through January okay so that's everything from big lots let's now go to Dollar General who loves Dollar General me um I love that they're all over and no Dollar General is it's created the same. They're all different, at least in my area. Some are really big. Some have lots of stuff. So I love going in them because you just never know what you will find. So to go on my 
um, little candy station. And I'm, I'm going to send these one up to Maryland. I still have to send that box today. It's on my to-do list to my niece. Check out these. They're individually wrapped. This is only a dollar. You get six. And they are peppermint spoons. Super stinking cute. I need to go get a couple of more. These will make cute little um, treats for treat bags for kids and friends and families with hot cocoa. So I got those. <clears throat> I need to go back and get some more of those today. Then they had some um, little wood ornaments. And I love these because these look cute. Um, not only standing around, you know, as decorations or if you have a tree. I don't have a, a candy tree. I've always wanted to do one, but I've never have. I've got several other themed trees. If I had a candy tree, tree Tim will kill me. <laughs> um, but these are, make great little um, tags on, you know, gift bags or little, you know, just little decoration. But how adorable. They are the MDF little board. They're only a dollar. How cute. You can come in here and alter them up. Maybe add a prettier bow or whatever. Or just use them as is. So I got a couple of the um, lollipops. And then some of the gingerbread. Got a couple of those. And then, of course, a very sweet Christmas. Aren't they adorable? And Dollar General's kind of like the Dollar Tree. You better get it when you see it. Because if you go back, and it will be gone. So I got all of those. Those would be fun to use. And then check out. This is a repurchase. I think I got one of these at the um, Pop Shelf store. I have a video coming. I haven't made it yet. I can't do it with this one. It'll be too long of a video. But I've, I went to Pop Shelf. There's a new store called Pop Shelf. And I believe they are um, with Dollar General. Um, because I know I bought one of these. So I bought another one of these because the Dollar General had these in. But these are snowballs. Uh, a little bucket. It's a half a bucket. So you could really mount this on a mini album or, you know, a project or some sort. But it's a little, cute little bucket of snowballs. It says, hand-packed, ready to throw, five cents. Isn't that cute? I thought that was adorable. So you'll see another one of these in that bag. Hopefully I'll get to that today. Um, like I said, I've got to start pulling everything out of storage for Christmas. And it's a lot. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I also picked up this little snowman. I thought he would be cute. Again, a dollar. And he's really, really adorable. Be cute. So he could stay out in the winter time as well, not just for Christmas. And again, I'm collecting little treats and stuff. My family loves this. These are their favorite. These Stouffer's gingerbread cookies. And they're like this big. So they're they're so cute. And I've got a jar full of them up there. So I grabbed another bag. And I think these are like two dollars a bag. And we've tried we've tried the archway ones. They don't like those as much as these. Um then the Dollar General had some cute little stickers. Couldn't pass them up. So I got two of these. How cute are these? The little Santa. And they've got a little bit of their dim slightly dimensional. But aren't those cute from Santa? And I love the colors. Super cute. So check out your Dollar General. Just never know what you're going to find in there. These I absolutely adore. Um, because it's got snowmen. Y'all know I love the little snowman. Isn't it cute? And I love, again, I love the colors of them. Sorry about the glare. Super cute. It says, Dreaming of a White Christmas. Love these. I got two of those. Love, love, love those. Okay. So that's everything I got from Dollar General. Um, forgot to show this on my last haul from Target that I picked up because it was set. I'd pulled it aside. And it was this set of cookie cutters. Target has several sets like this of different shapes. I think they had snowflakes, Christmas trees, ooh, Christmas trees, guys, about fell off the table there. Christmas trees and I forget what else, like five or six different kinds, but I got the little gingers because look at all the different sizes. Aren't they adorable? So you get, you get five of them in here, all various sizes. So I thought these would be cute to add to my growing gingerbread collection. Now I can... And they're brown. I love the little color of them. Are they cute? These will make cute little ornaments. Or just, you know, tossing them in a cute little bowl. You know. Yeah. Super cute. Okay. On to the next thing. The Mighty Dollar. Which is another Dollar Tree. I'm like another Dollar Store like Dollar Tree. And it's about a 35-40 minute ride for me. Unless I'm down there showing a house. Which I was. 
And over the years, if anybody's been following me for a long time, know that um, I used to go there a lot because they used to have a huge, huge craft section. Well, they've moved stores down the street and it's a lot smaller. So they don't have all the inventory that they used to. So I don't go as frequently as I used to. So I picked up some of this little glitter tape. Again, everything's a dollar. So I got two rolls of that. Super cute. Just thought it was fun to play with. So I got that. My sister loves Pepsi, so I got her this little bottle opener. I think it's a magnet. I actually bought one that had Mountain Dew and gave that to my friend Lisa already. There was two different versions. The vintage looking and the modern. I just got this one. So I got that. Then they had a hole in the art section and the kids' art section. They had a whole bunch of the um, PBS, Arthur, y'all remember this little cartoon? I think Arthur's still on. They had a whole bunch of what I call, you know, school supply, art supply, that, those type of things. They have tons of these. I just got the pink. I had a bunch in my hand. I'm like, Carly, you don't need them. You've got sequins at home. I just like these because they're very the shimmery and iridescent. And if they'd had the other ones that shined like this, I would have got more. They had red and green. They had the primary colors. So, and then they had this. So, they didn't have an iridescent because I would have bought one of those. But I got this one. Then they had all kinds of other um, art supplies like that for a dollar. I didn't think that was a bad deal. I just don't really need them. And I put it all back. I was like, I don't need all this stuff. But one thing I did grab for decorating cookies, I've got a bunch of these. But sometimes it's nice to have different, so you, you know, have different colors ready to go of your icing. So, these are by Wilton. And again, it was a dollar. So I went ahead and picked that up for uh, piping. And this is these are your, your more average ones you're going to use a lot. And then in the baking section, I picked these up. You get two uh, flexible chopping mats. I'm going to use them here in my craft room. So they're really thin. You could use these to make, you know, covers or notebooks. You do a lot of different things with this stencils different things so probably should have got a couple more of those so i got one of those again a dollar and then the last thing that i picked up there were these envelopes they are this is called b mary i don't know what the company is but they are four and a quarter by nine and a half but aren't they cute i thought these would be really fun to use with um um, slimline cards. They might be a little bit bigger. I don't know. I haven't made a ton of slimlines, but I went ahead and got two of these. You get 40 for a dollar. Probably should have gotten a couple more of those, but I got to stop buying just to buy because it's a good deal. You all know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Oh, one more thing from the Dollar Tree. It's just a bag of flowers. <clears throat> I got a whole bunch. I didn't need any more, but I just thought these were really pretty. And again, when you're at the Dollar Tree and you see it, you got to get them. Look how pretty these are. I know I didn't need them, but I went ahead and got them just because I love the colors. And I do ha I have these colors upstairs. Um, so I got a couple of the smaller ones with the green and then a bunch of these. Again, a dollar. To me, they're pretty, just as pretty, if not prettier than some of the ones I've seen at Michael's. My Michael's is sad. I don't know about you guys, but... It is super sad. Um, they've got a ton of Halloween. I think I ranted about that last time, but yeah. Okay, so then I went, um, oh, nope, I'm not done with Dollar Tree. I bought a bunch of tins. So I got a couple of box bags of tins, and I'll try to just show you, because I bought multiples to use as a gift, but I hit the mother load of cute little tins. And I'm a baker, so I make a lot of cookies and do a lot of, you know, gift giving and things, taking them to family and friends at Christmas time. So I bought a couple of them, and I think some of them will be cute to sit in the kitchen as well as um, make some gifts. Mini albums to put inside, little tiny little mini albums. So I bought quite a few because they had a nice stash. And again, Dollar Tree, I hadn't seen these at my Dollar Tree, but this is a Dollar Tree down in High Point. I'm going to regret pulling these all out. But I'm doing it. All right. We had a lot of 
different varieties. They had several different patterns. But I, I went with like the cookie theme since that's pretty much what I'm going to put in there. While I was there, I also picked up these two to um, use on some mini albums because they will go great with these. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly pick this up. I only got one of these. This is a really long one. Isn't it cute? It has a little bow on it already. Again, check your tops. Make sure they stay on. But that is super cute. So I got one of those. I got one of this larger one. This one's the same. It's a little bit smaller. Just slightly smaller. So I got those two. I'm going to put inside of each other. You know, that's what I love about tins. Are they cute? They're so adorable. They just make... A lot of times I will give tins and just put a bow on it and just take it as it is. These I love because you can see inside. So even if, if I put a mini album or cookies, these are adorable. So I got two of that style. I've got a ton of stuff stacked over there. And then one with this. Look how pretty this one is for a dollar. And I love that it has the clear window. I got those. And then this one's a paper one. This is for my kitchen. Just to put a couple little things in there. I just thought it was cute. Sweet shop kind of goes with my cookie bar, the snack bar, whatever I'm going to call it. Um, and then some of them had these little domed tops. And this is a hinge. How cute is that? And there's the top. I love the colors. Whoever's designing these things is really doing a good job. So I got that one, and then I got the larger format of that one. Super cute. Save space, I'll do that. Um, and then I got this one. Super cute. So they're all a little bit different shaped. I got two of those. Don't you just love the colors? Adorable. And then I got one of these. I knew I have a paper collection that would match this one to make a little mini album out of that. But isn't it pretty? So I got that one. Y'all, I'm about to have an avalanche over here. And then they had a bunch of them um, that are little mini lunch boxes. These I've always loved. These I know will make cute little mini albums. I can make a little small mini album in there. And it's just so adorable. Love the green. So I got two of those. So that's all the tins that I got. It's a lot, isn't it? They take up so much space. It's like 10 of them, I think. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 12 of them because I got two inside. Okay, now to the funnest part. I'm almost to the end. Gosh, 18 minutes in. So I went to Hobby Lobby on Black Friday. Uh, Tim and I needed to go to Greensboro, and he needed to go Home Depot. He's like, well, I'll just drop you off at Hobby Lobby. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I didn't plan on it, but I did. Okay, so... I was making my way around. I knew I didn't really need anything. And I'm shocked the stores are not that crowded. And this was early. We went to Costco after that. Costco was was not very crowded. It was like a weekday, not a holiday weekend. No, I was shocked. And then um, Hobby Lobby wasn't that crowded. I was really, really shocked. But I did get trapped on the uh, fall clearance aisle. When I mean trapped, I mean literally trapped i texted tim like you're gonna have to come in here and get me because these women are not moving um the aisle was filled with some great deals and i got a few but i wasn't fighting people um for things it was 90 percent off so you paid 10 cents on the dollar because people were trying to pull out their calculators i wonder how much this is and i had to explain to them you're paying 10 cents on the dollar they just looked at me i was like it's 10 cents a dollar so if it's if it's marked ten dollars what would it be? She's like, let me pull my calculator out. A dollar. <laughs> She's like, what? I was like, yeah. So it was funny. Um, but I, I found some really good things. So check out these cute little placemats. I know they're for fall, but I love the simplicity of them. And we go through placemats like crazy. So these are really $10. I never would have paid $10 for these. For two of them? No. Um, but two for a dollar? Absolutely. So I bought four packs of those to use in my live my um dining room and kitchen next year or you know I use them as gifts for clients or for events or whatever so I got those four 
so I'll put them aside. Then I bought a bunch of the black and white buffalo check runners because as a agent, I'm with Keller Williams. Our colors are black and red, and, and I host a lot of different events, uh, open houses, all that kind of stuff. And these were $1.49, table runners. And um, technically, they're reversible, solid black on one side. Um, so I think I bought 12 of these. I used, I think, three or four of them in the office for $1.50. So I bought quite a few of those. Like I said, I think 12 of those. And then I bought two of the, the um, 60 by 120 inch tablecloths. And again, $3.49. I couldn't go buy the fabric for that to make that. So I got those. I don't need to show you all of them. Um, they're great. And they had all different, they had a whole line of football stuff, which I know Tim's got a couple of buddies that are into football. And I was like, do they need this? And he's like, I don't know, they're working. And so I passed on that. Okay. But I will share with you what I saw when I walked into the store and I thought, oh, those are cute. I will find them in the store. No. So after being trapped on the, um, I, when I'm telling you I was trapped, I'm telling you I was in there for like probably 35, 40 minutes total. Probably 45 minutes. 20 or 25 minutes was trapped on that aisle in the middle because I had my cart and I got to the middle and then they filled this way and literally couldn't go anywhere. And Tim's like, you're not trapped. Yes, honey, I am trapped. Finally, I got out. But check out what I found in the lobby. And then when I was walking around, couldn't find them anywhere. So I traipsed back out to the lobby praying that they would still be there. I'd been trapped for a few minutes, and you know, you just never know. And there they sat on the shelf where I'd seen them originally. You guys have probably all seen these, but, and I'd seen them in the past, but I never saw how really how cute they were because they had them standing up on the shelf. But look what I got. I got a gingerbread boy and girl. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? I've already shown them to the dogs because I'm fear, fearful that they don't think they're dog toys because we buy them things not quite this big. So I've let them sniff them, but I've already told them and threatened them that if I find these on the floor, I'm all, the dogs will be no more. You know, I'm not going to do that, but yeah, I told Carly, maybe I have to hang them up on the wall so they can't get to them. So we're going to see how they do with that. But aren't they cute? They're so cute. So yeah. Yeah, that's going to be really, really cute. I'm going to have to do a tour of my kitchen. Because I've got stuff from years ago that I bought that's uh, candy and cookie related. Because I'm always baking cookies. And now all this cute stuff's coming out. And look at this one. Isn't that cute? Super stinking cute. I got one of these. And they were half off. So this is $15. These little guys I think are $24.99. Yeah. $24.99. So I got two for $24.99. And they're adorable. Look at their little buttons. There's so much detail in this. You have the little felt um, holly and the berries and their cute little clothes. And then you have the cute little buttons. Aren't they cute? And lace and the stitching. So cute. I'm like, I'm fearful that the dog's going to get this. Bum bum. Yeah. And they have little sparkles on them. Can you see? Super cute. And he's got a little scarf. Goes all the way around. A little hat. Isn't that cute. Again, these were the last two that I could find in the store. If there were more, I never found them. Because the store really wasn't that crowded except for on that one aisle. And that was, I'm shocked. I was really, really shocked. Because even the parking lot, when I pulled up, I was like, this looks like a weekday. Seriously. Okay, did I, is that everything, guys? Finally? Yes. That's it. Finally. Yay! So now I gotta put all this stuff away. Actually, it's gonna sit here. I'm gonna go pull out my Christmas tree and get that started. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are all doing well. And um, let me know what you got this weekend. What'd you go out and get? So I got my Christmas present. Art. Well, I don't know if it's a Christmas present. I don't know. I've been wanting a Roomba for a long time. That's why we went to Costco and got a Roomba. 
So can't wait for that. Do y'all hear the dogs are at the door? <laughs> so, all right, let me go get those little puppies and um, then I'm going to get started with decorating for Christmas. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.